everything does correlate and go together. But it's our responsibility as developing human beings to figure it out. You know, what is really, really going on? Usually what I do in the morning, I usually just get up and just start, you know, either doing a podcast or or doing a video. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the Consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carithers on this January 27th, 2024, on a Saturday. And it's starting out beautiful over here on my side of town, on the West Coast, east side of town, baby, baby. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. So I got up this morning, you know, got myself all fresh and clean, clean. I mean, my, you know, my apartment is, you know, it's a studio. Let's put it that way. And it's cluttered, of course. You know, why not? <laughs> I got paper everywhere because, you know, you can't have beauty. I mean, you can't, you know, if you have chaos, okay, you, you know, and you have it managed, then I think you are well on your way to figuring things out because, you know, there's beauty in chaos. Well, without chaos, there's no beauty. And without beauty, there's no chaos. So everything does correlate and go together. But it's our responsibility as developing human beings to figure it out, you know, what is really, really going on. Usually what I do in the morning, I usually just get up and just start, you know, either doing a podcast or or doing a video. and I usually did not, you know, early on with the majority of my videos, I did not pay attention to what was going on on the news, quote unquote, because I know that there are hidden hands in what we all see, hear, sense and receive. Someone's always controlling that and deciding what we're what we are supposed to listen to, what we're supposed to watch, what we're supposed to feel and all, all everything is just involved with hidden hands attempting to control us and they're doing a good job of it for the majority of people sadly you know a lot of it is via the technologies because you know these technologies uh you know are you know they they they're fantastic you know what and what do I mean by that well they can they can o- help to open up a lot of uh fantasies a lot of fantasies and imaginations but they can also open up a lot of delusion and that's and in most cases, that's the whole idea is to get you so immersed in things so that you don't take care of your house, don't take care of yourself, don't take care of each other. And more importantly, taking care of your consciousness. OK, evolution of the consciousness involves is a hands on, you know, all hands on deck activity, meaning you are immersed in your being, your B-E-I-N-G. S, if you want, you know, being, you, 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 you are immersed in that. In other words, you, the human being, in the true sense, are responsible for controlling it. But, you know, over the course of time, because of the, the love of conveniences, we've allowed, you know, technology to do it for us and, and do it for us, they will. You know, the damage has been done. Okay, this has been going on with the technology side of it. And I'm not just going to keep saying AI because I know a lot of people get all worked up about that. You know, AI has allowed me, you know, this they, they want to justify it. Just like they did with the bots, just like people do with buying uh, likes, buying followers. You know, everyone has a, always have a justification for doing it. I used to do that stuff back in the day, too, because that, that's what they told us that we needed to do to grow our business is get fake likes and get fake followers. Okay. Anyone that's honest know that that is what it was. And then people start introducing bots, those BOTs to do the same thing, to get the edge on someone else. Okay. And a lot of people, you know, will, you know, yes, AI is neutral. AI is every All technology is neutral. Even creational energy is neutral. Okay, energy is neutral. Atoms are neutral. But what what happens to to degrade it, to cause it to degenerate? The hidden hands. Okay, 
and some people are public about what they're doing. But most in most cases, 90 percent of the time is all hidden hands behind the scenes interruption, you know, behind the behind the scenes interference. OK, if everything were neutral, we would probably be if we were handling everything neutrally. Oh, I I, I could just I cannot imagine where we would be, all, you know, the majority of us. We'll be on, on, on the stars, on moons and mountains, all over the universe, all over the galaxy, the Milky Way, meeting with other people that are human beings like, like we are. But a lot of people do not want to go there. So, you know what? You know, you take yourself where you need to go. How about that? This is your own path. If you like to remain in delusion about your reality, you have the free will to do so. And don't forget it. Okay, even though we continue to forget day in, day in and day out about things. I'm feeling good like I know I should. I can't wait to get me a cup of coffee and start my day and, and let the day unfold for me. I have a lot of things going on. You know, as you know, I'm building, I'm building things, you know, building things literally, figuratively, metaphorically. And so that, that's going to cause a lot of chaos. It's going to cause some setbacks. It's going to cause some delays. It's going to cause some remeasuring. Me, me, Remeasuring things and trying to figure out, okay, is this maybe I need to do this a little bit here, a little bit there, blah, blah, blah. There's a constant moving and adjusting and so forth and so on. So I enjoy it. I do not enjoy dealing with details. And details usually involve paperwork. Do not enjoy that, but I get it done. And it feels good when I do get it done because I just go in there and grind it through. I go in there and, you know, I make, you know, once I make a decision, I, you know, that's, that's a decision that, you know, I walk the talk when it relates to my life. I walk the talk and I treat people very well. And speaking of which, I want to say something about that is, you know, how you treating people. Now, these times, you know, we're in a political season, you know, deja vu, deja vu, you know, people, how many people vowed that we wouldn't get be in this particular situation again? OK, that's literally is what's happening to our consciousness. We you know we make all these promises that we don't keep. We make all these goals. We make all these resolutions and this and that and the other. And you end up back in what? Deja vu, deja vu, repeating the same type of acti- activities over again. Giving you giving you opportunities to what resolve it, you know, or find a, find another way, find another path, whatever journey, whatever. So that is what I mean by deja vu. And see the the problem, and that's okay. I mean, you know, this this is this is our situation. Most people can care less about anything until they are affected by it. They can care less, and if. And and that and that's that's I would say it's more on the side of reason than not because yeah of course you, you know you, you you know you're concerned about yourself especially if you have wife a husband children a job you know you have you do need to be concerned about yourself and make sure that you can breathe rather than worrying about if anybody else is not okay that's why you know on planes what do they say. You put the mask on first. Make sure you can breathe before you attempt to go save other people. That's logical right there. But we've taken things, though, however, extreme. There's an extremism that's causing everything to come to a grind. And that's why I, I think that's why I'm, I'm kind of fascinated right now with uh, entropy. You know, entropy has been swirling around in my mind for a while. I was introduced to the term entropy back almost over 20 years ago. And I sense. I don't know why I'm I'm sensing that entropy and atrophy are correlating together. I know it has something to do with disorder, this decay, and this you know this. It's about the energy. It's about systems, and you know systems are systems do run out. Systems do come to a grind, to a halt. You know we are part of a system. You know whether we want to accept that or not, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, we're part of systems. OK, so at some point, everything breaks down, you know, everything breaks down. So I'm thinking about that a lot. That's coming in my into my mind because I, I let my thoughts flow. I don't necessarily interfere. I just kind of ask myself, OK, what does all that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? While I do my do my thing, do my chores, I still have work to do. 
I still have accountability, responsibility, but we've, because we've neglected it and, and, and kind of disregarded a lot of things, a lot of you just have so much stuff piled on you that you barely have time to, to, you know, either to, you know, to do whatever you want to do. You're doing everything for other people, you know, whether it's for your job, whether it's for your wife, your husband, your children, your pets, you know, your friends, your business partners, whatever. There's a lot of a lot of moving parts, and it's gonna. This is this is it. You know, you know, we're in a in a in a spin of no control. We're in a spin, whether it's grinding to a halt, it's still spinning. Okay, I was looking at something on the on one of the videos the other day where it said it had a series of ants. You know, I consider ants extremely, extremely intelligent beings, you know, because they know what to do. They did, you know, they seem to get to be they seem to be getting a lot of things done. But those ants started, they were on a path to go somewhere. Who knows, right? Let's just 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 use this as a uh, something to just contemplate, you know, and think about. They were in a, they were on a path to go somewhere. They ended up apparently changing their minds, this and that and the other, and they end up just going in circles, in circles, in circles, in circles. And they got into that circle and they could not get out of that circle under the best circumstances. It became became hundreds of them circling, thousands of them circling, millions of them circling. And accordingly, they're going to be walking and circling like that because they, something confused them, something interrupted them, something distracted them. They're going to be walking in circles until their deaths. And that's what is happening to a lot of us when it regards our consciousness. We're going to be spinning in our consciousness, you know, extremely ruminating, you know, instead of having a balance of rumination, doing everything extreme, 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 even with our behaviors and actions and what we say we're going to do versus what we do. That's why we're going to be so easily, someone can easily pick up our patterns and behaviors, regardless of what we're saying, okay, it's what we're thinking about, you know, with these sophisticated thinkers out there that know how to lie and manipulate and deceive. But you know what? At the end of the day, he, they're in circles too, okay? So they are eventually going to grind to a halt, you know, spinning and spinning and spinning until, you know, the system collapses and shuts down, and that's the end of it. OK, so know what you're thinking about, you know, be kind and gentle with yourself and others. Do the best you can. Ask questions. Ask, your, ask yourself questions. You know, how can I be a more kinder? How can I be kinder and gentler with people today? What is my issue to be to be anything otherwise? You know, just ask yourself some questions and be kind and gentle about it. And, you know, uh, and like I said, I'm going to send out peace and love to everybody all over the stars and moon and mountains. And I want to send out universal love to those of you that are doing the best you can. You're being as righteous as you can. You're, you're treating people kind and gentle and friendly. But you know when, it, when it's time to defend yourself, you know what to do. So just always know that you have free will. And just be kind and gentle about that. And know that, yes, I've made some mistakes believing otherwise. No one has to know what you are doing inside of you, what you're doing internally, you know, even your partner. But you, at some point, you want to do share it with someone intimately. Of course, you're, you know, how you're developing, how you can develop together and this and that and the other. Because it is about that as well, too. It's not about necessarily isolating yourself. You know, you, you want to socialize with people regardless of how they're behaving and acting as long as you feel safe. Okay. And that's the, that's the number one uh, thing to consider. So enjoy your Saturday. Go outside if you can. Touch some trees. You know, breathe in. You know, not too much, you know, because our atmosphere is, uh, is you know, unfortunately, you know, our atmosphere has some issues as well, you know, with the high seal. You know, just just a lot of things going on, and we don't need to go into that this morning. Just enjoy your, enjoy your life as best you can. Enjoy the moments with each other. Enjoy the moments with yourself, okay? Evolution of the consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carruthers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at missmichellecarruthers at gmail.com.